Hey everyone, it's Nightlight9, and the next video in my weapon series is going to be Glenn. This, I think, also kind of goes without saying that um, Glenn's not a character that I use a whole lot, um, so I'll do my best to do him justice, but if I miss anything, please let me know. Looking through Glenn's weapons, uh, I would say the typical theme is like a little bit of debuff, a little bit of buff, and then a lot of like typically physical damage. Um, that's kind of what I think of when I think of Glenn. Uh, noteworthy weapons, Thousand Waves is definitely a noteworthy weapon for me. It was a free weapon very early on in the game, and I use it as a sub weapon in like probably almost every piece of content that you could think of for, I don't even know, four or five months, maybe a long time. Boost HP, boost magical defense, both really nice abilities, especially because, uh, you, you know, there was a lot of AOE magic stuff or single target magic stuff in the beginning, and that was important. The HP comboed with it to really, really help survivability. Obviously, this isn't a weapon that you need to pick up anywhere. It was a free weapon, uh, but I think it's noteworthy for those reasons. Um, Apology in Hell was no is noteworthy because 940% physical non-elemental damage is really good. I mean, it's not the best when it comes to these, but I think he started out with this. And so that was really, really high in the beginning of the game. The ice resist felt a little bit awkward. The boost attack is fine, but you really would like physical attack on this. Also, these boosts here not being physical. It hurts it a little bit, but if you needed uh, high damage, that was a decent weapon early on. Next weapon in the list, Shockbuster, is noteworthy for being a sub weapon. Uh, at OB10 here, you're looking at boost attack 46, boost lightning potency 39. This is great because, again, once you've maxed out your magic or physical attack, these this sub ability, uh, the R ability here for boost lightning potency is still great if that's what you're building, but it matters so much more when you can also be increasing your actual attack stats simultaneously. And for those reasons, I think Shockbuster is still a viable weapon to want to pick up. The next one, Pumpkin Lamppost. This is uh, a weapon that Glenn got at the Halloween banner. And although I wasn't using Glenn, this weapon made me super jealous of people who did because it was a super, super strong weapon. I mean, it's still good, but it was amazingly good when it came out because starting at OB6, you got physical attack increase to a single ally, high potency. That was really strong for a long time. The fact that you could cast it on somebody else and it wasn't just a self buff was a big deal. Then just to kind of throw a little bit extra on it, you got the regen applied for 15 seconds or less depending you know how high you had it leveled and a small heal uh, physical attack and ability potency was just fine because really the good part about the C ability was this buff that you could do it didn't have anything fancy on support materia but everybody was using it for the buff now I think that there's just way too many good buffs that are easier to do or at least do more because they're AoE for the whole team or something like that but it's a noteworthy weapon for that reason uh, right next to it here, Hardcore Squad, another very, I think, great weapon. Overlooked by me because I don't use Glenn a lot, but you can't deny that it's got a lot going for it. Physical defense increased all allies, potency mid. Um, it never goes higher than that, and I believe it was potency low at 5 star, stacking to mid. But still, physical def defense increased for everybody and magical defense increased for everybody really couldn't be overlooked. Uh, the fact that it had crit potency on it is very odd. And even as a sub weapon, the fact that it is with heal, it's it, it makes it strange. But the C ability, I think, is noteworthy and, and pretty good. Coming over to Jiggy Fam, I, I think this is noteworthy again as a sub weapon. Uh, boost magic attack plus 46, boost, boost to earth potency plus 39. Uh, definitely would would stack well with somebody like Vincent or Lucia if you're using them for Earth because this is magic based and that is what I would be looking to do with that weapon pretty much solely. Ultimatic here I believe is still one of Glenn's like best weapons and also 
just a weapon that really encompasses what he seemed to be all about, like the flavor of Glenn in this game. Uh, at max, you're looking at 1,040% physical non-elemental damage, which is obviously very, very high. It's about a full 100% above where most weapons were maxing out uh, in the same kind of thing from the beginning of the game. Not as high as some of the stuff that we've gotten since then or what Tifa or Cloud got for Final Fantasy IX and, and later. But, I mean, you just really can't knock this. It's also wishlistable. <laughs> so, uh, you know, for that reason, too, if you like Glenn, they also even threw in a circle sigil break on it. I think this is a great weapon. It's got an X sigil boost here, which actually keeps it pretty relevant. And then the R abilities. I use this as a sub weapon quite often because, again, maxing physical attack, pretty easy. Maxing actual attack, not nearly so. And then the boost physical ability potency really tops it off, makes this uh, very cohesive as a weapon, also as a sub weapon, and I really, really feel very highly about it. Uh, next, I'm going to talk about Crew Kicker, but it's it's a mixed bag. 750% um, fire damage. Okay, fine. I'll, I'm, I'm there with you. HP and fire potency. Great. But then the lack of a sigil boost here is like one of those things that you're like, okay, well, things like Mirasame, Maritime Sword, etc. They all got a sigil boost and Glenn just didn't. And for that reason, uh, I'm not saying the weapon wasn't useful. It was and I think still is. However, like if you're wanting him to be a main DPS, you really want to have a sigil boost, at least access to it in case you need it. But that was kind of some of the stuff that they would do to shortchange, um, you know, non main characters uh, for a long time in the game. Coming over to Stream Slasher, this is an amazing weapon. Uh, for one, it does, you know, at max tier 900% physical water damage making it the, I think, best physical water weapon in the game, if, I, if I'm not forgetting something. Uh, but this here, boost physical attack to all allies, is useful in, like, nearly everything that requires physical attack damage. Boost water potency, it's super great. Uh, it's got a sigil break. <clears throat> and ultimately, you know, this was an a six-month anniversary weapon, and I that probably is all you need to say about that. The last weapon on the list, if I'm not forgetting any, again, I don't have, I might not have them all, but I've tried my best to check, is Slay the Day. And this is one of the newer weapons that he's gotten, and it's quite good. It's basically like the counterpart to uh, his water damage, which is like what Tifa had with her dual, you know, bunny gloves and then the uh, feather, whatever, I can't remember. Uh, but anyway... 420% physical non-elemental damage, which we don't care about, but physical defense decrease, and we get the water damage increase on him. Uh, this is basically the physical version, whereas Tifa's does magic defense decrease and water up, and it's got magic attack, water potency. His is the physical version, again. I've always thought of Glenn as like a physical damage dealer. Sigil boost, water boost, very nice. Uh, I think that is a, a very solid weapon for him. As far as what I would be going for with a voucher, oh man, um, really tough for me to say. Um, I, I don't think any of his, I mean, if you really want to use Glenn as your main physical DPS, then I think you're, I think you're still at automatic. And I think that's a weapon that I would be wanting to go for anyway. Um, if you don't plan to really use him very much and you need sub weapons, you know, there's a few really good ones like Jiggy Fam or Shockbuster that we've mentioned that I think, you know, definitely are, are good for for that purpose, right? For equipping when you, you know, need something that's got something other than just straight magical or physical attack and also has the potency boost that you want. So those are probably the, I guess, maybe the three main weapons that I would be looking at um, if I were going for that. I'm sure there there could be a couple other um, that that could make it on the list, but more I think those would be more account dependent than the three that I mentioned. And again, I mean, if you want to use Glenn in, in another role, I think there is still some argument for Pumpkin Lamp Post here because uh, in the right content with the right team setup in general, this still has I think some potential. Well, that's everything I have on Glenn. Thanks for watching.